What I am, family? It's your boy, SEN TV. Back at y'all with a news update. Now, around 5.30 p.m. the other day, a 40-year-old woman got out of her car at the All-Star gas station on 75th and Yates in the South Shore neighborhood. She left her keys in the car with her 6-year-old and her 4-year-old still in the car. While she was in the store, somebody got in the car and drove off. With the kids inside, the car actually ended up being ditched down the street. I guess once whoever got the car realized that the kids were inside of the car, they stopped and got out and ran. Police are still looking for the suspect in this case. Y'all know exactly what kind of winner we had dealing with these carjackings. For y'all to be getting out of the car, leaving the keys in the car, with your kids in the car, the level of thinking had to be non-existent at that point. We know that this is a no-no, especially in the city of Chicago, especially right now. The weather's beginning to break. It's beginning to get hot outside, so it's gonna be a lot more carjackings and violent crimes. Always remember that you live in the city of Chicago which is now like a fucking GTA game. They stealing, they doing this, and they doing that. You have no time to be going through stupid stuff like this. I'ma just be honest. I think that she forgot what she was. Um, I don't have to tell y'all, don't be getting out of the car, leaving your car started, especially with your kids in it. Now, she was lucky enough to get her kids back. In some situations, she might not have been so lucky. In other news, a pregnant 38-year-old woman by the name of Charita Morrison has been missing for about five days now. She was last seen dropping her daughter off at school on 62nd and Damon in the West Inglewood neighborhood. She's about 5'1", 140 pounds. She was last seen dressed in black, driving a gray Porsche truck. I'm hearing that her truck was found somewhere on the north side with no sign of her. I'm praying that this lady makes it back home to her family, especially um, seeing as how she was pregnant. I seen a couple of her family members on social media, really, really, really begging the public to find their family member. Um, this is just an unfortunate situation that, you know, stuff like this just happens in the city of Chicago. where people just come up missing, nowhere to be found. Um, but I hope in this case, she, you know, uh, they find where she's at. On Monday night, an 11-year-old girl was shot in the face at a gas station in the West Pullman neighborhood. Around 11 p.m., Nia Andrea Dyer was sitting in the car at the gas station located on 127th Street. Police say when a 19-year-old man was walking out of the gas station, a man ran up and shot him. The man then turned the gun on a little girl and shot her in the face. She was taken to Comas Children's Hospital where she remains paralyzed. This, um, this is just sad. I, I mean, um, I can't even imagine, you know, I, I have a, uh, I have a 10 year old little girl and, and I just can't even imagine this. Um, I, I just can't imagine what, what her parents or her family is going through right now. Um, whoever did this, is you know at this point you're not even human dog you know you're an animal it you know this is crazy there's a fifteen thousand dollar reward on the head of of the shooter and you know of course the police have no suspects as usual um this situation you know when i when i when i when i read up on this situation you know i actually you know it, it just it was just sad man it was just real sad and uh this happened to this little girl, and nine times out of 10, the police probably won't even find who did it. I'ma just be honest. So, what does that leave her family members? That leaves them in a position to where now they gotta go and get street justice, you know? So, um, I hope that this little girl makes a, you know, makes a recovery. Something I'm pretty sure she had nothing to do with. She wasn't even involved in um, sitting in the car, it's just not even good in the city of Chicago, nowhere. After a certain time at night, 
your children ain't supposed to be outside. We gotta start keeping our children in. I'm gonna say this again, it's getting ready to get hot outside. So it's a lot more BS that's been occur. In other news, Father Flager has now had a third man to, you know, come and say that um, he was actually sexual, sexual molesting him when he was younger. Again, um, these are just allegations at this point, but, you know, it, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Um, people are starting to come out against Father Flager. I don't I don't know what to say. I mean, at this point, this is the same Father Flager that, you know, um, everybody in that neighborhood loved, you know, the minister embraced Father Flager. So, you know, in this situation, you know, I can't really say, but it's crazy how Catholic, you know, Catholic priests, they always have a, a reputation for molesting kids. Like, it's just synonymous. Like, molestation is just synonymous with Catholic priests or something for some reason. But it's been definitely having more and more allegations against him. So um, I'm going to definitely keep y'all updated on that. And we'll see where that goes. But um, other than that, that's y'all news for the day. It's your boy, SCN TV. I'm out.